hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back, good to be back here, and today I have a video that I am very excited about making for you guys. So, as you know, there are a lot of note takers on the market, you know, there's the Braille Note Touch, the L Braille, B2G, but one of the competitors to the Braille Note that, you know, I think it's probably one of the biggest competitors is the Braille Sense. And as we know, Humanware in 2016 came out with the Braille Note Touch, which brought Android to the Braille Note. Well, Hims did the same thing, but they did a bit of a different approach. And I was fortunate enough to get my hands on a Polaris Mini. And I'm going to give you a tour of it in this video. This is a really nice device. And so let's get into this. I'll show you around it a bit. And then we'll do a quick boot up and take a look at a little bit of the software. We're not going to go into too much detail of that in this video, but just so you can see how long it takes to boot, that sort of fun stuff. Okay, so the front, it's currently closed, but would have, the case is closed, it would have your braille keyboard, all that fun stuff, braille display. So let's open the case up and take a look. So. You have your Perkins style braille keyboard. And it's not a loud keyboard at all, which is really great if you're typing, you know, in class, in a meeting, you really won't be distracting people with your typing. You know, it sounds very laptop-like, which is good. In between the space bar, you have control and alt keys. And in between, all that on the left and right sides, you have function keys. There's F1, F2, then there's the control space alt, and then F3 and F4. Those two different things, you know, in the system. Then there's the braille display. Now this Polaris Mini has a 20 cell braille display, which is really nice. The minis in the past from him have had 18, and as you know, if you watch my videos, my touch has 18. So this is actually a two-cell upgrade, and that's quite nice. Then kind of on the, well, not really the bottom, but below all the braille display stuff, you have a switch for locking the unit so that no buttons can get pressed. Then you have a switch that controls the mode of these next buttons, which are media buttons. In here you have like a record, a stop, play, all that stuff. To the right of that is your power sleep button. Now, on the sides, the left side has two ports and I'm trying to focus that for you. There we go. You have a mic jack and a headphone jack. Try this gently. Okay. Um, and then on the right, you have an HDMI, like micro HDMI, and a USB-C port. That is used for charging and connecting accessories. So it's a very minimal in terms of ports, which could be the downside to the Mini, but if you want small, you got it here. And on the bottom, there's the battery cover, well, the battery, a 13 megapixel camera, and underneath where the battery is, you can install a micro SD card. So if you need more storage than what's given on the Polaris Mini, which is 64 gigabytes, you can install a card. Okay. Oh, and of course I didn't point out, but there are your cursor routing keys, 20 of them. And to the left and right of the display, you have scroll buttons. So, certainly, you know, easy to find. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's boot this up and we'll see how long it takes to boot. Now I've completely powered this down. 
but ordinarily you wouldn't do that. So I'm going to press and hold the power button and when I do, the unit will beep and vibrate. So, and then it starts to boot. So let's do it. Hopefully you heard that. Now it says hymns on the display. Now it's a starting braille sense with some moving cells on the right that go up and down. Now in a second, there will be a chime to signal that the unit has booted and we'll hear the speech. File manager, F. And we are now booted up. Now that little doo-doo that you heard meant that the wireless has connected. So we're on online. So now what we can do is let's explore the menu. To do this, I am going to use space with dots four. Word process file manager F. Now I did space with dot one to go back to the top. I have my speech settings at what they are by default, just so you can hear what it sounds like. So, there's file manager. Word processor, W. Word processor. Email, E. Email. Media, M. Media, in this menu, you have a media player, daisy player, and an FM radio. Organizer, O. Organizer includes the schedule manager and the address manager, which behave just like they would on a BrailleSense U2 or another previous BrailleSense. Web tools, B. The web tools has the web browser. At the moment, that's the only thing that's there. And it's based off of Google Chrome. Take a look at that in a future video. Extras, X. Extras. That has like the Sense Dictionary, which is an extra add-on you can get. Utilities, that includes features like a calculator, stopwatch, alarm clock, and some other useful tools. Settings, S. Settings, that includes everything that you could want to change. So that's the Polaris options menu, the Android settings app, because like the Braille Note Touch, this does run Android, except it's a newer version. Help, H. Help. Play Store, P. Play Store. All apps. Up. And then you have a menu for all your apps. All apps. Up. Now that's all we're going to really look at here. Real quickly, I'll just show you how this little switch works for locking the keys. So if I move it. Top panel locked. One to the left. Now the top up. panel is locked. So as you're hearing, I am pressing every button on the top and all apps is still on my display, and it's not speaking. Now if I move it one more to the left. All keys locked. All apps. Oh. It said all keys locked. So now everything is locked. So I can't even power the unit down. This is really great if you need to put it in a bag, and all that stuff, so it won't be turning on. Let's go ahead and unlock the keys. Top panel locked. All apps. Oh. Unlocked. And All now apps. they're unlocked. Now just to show you, we'll do a shutdown test and I'll show you how long this takes to shut down. So I'm pressing and holding power. Apps. Oh, Actually, signal. before we do that, my apologies, I want to All apps. Oh. show you locking and unlocking. Because that is super easy to do. You just basically press the button. Screen off. And now it says screen off. I press it again. File, mani file manager F. Yeah, it comes back to life. All right, now we'll press and hold power and power down. Do you want to power off? Yes, prompt button. So the unit is asking us, do we want to power off? 
and it's currently sucked on yes. No prompt button. Now we can say no. Yes prompt button. So I'm gonna say yes and press enter. Power off. So it played its standard, you know, hymns power sound, and then it vibrated. And now the unit is off. So that is a tour of the Polaris Mini. If people would like, I am happy to do some comparisons between the Braille Note Touch and the Polaris because they're both, you know, kind of close comparisons. It can be d tough to decide which one to get. So I'm happy to do some videos looking at both because both have their strengths and weaknesses as all technology does. So if there's certain tasks you want to see each one do, let me know down in the comments and I will try and do that. I also intend to make some more tutorials of each unit. I know I've done some on the touch, but I haven't done any of them lately, but I have some planned and then I'm going to do a full series on the Polaris Mini as well. So again, if there's something you want to see in particular, you know, as an example, browsing the web on both units, I'm happy to show that. Or even if you just want to see, you know, a hardware comparison between the different note takers that I've shown. You know, seeing what the keyboards sound like, descriptions, you know, how light are they, that sort of thing. To show you again how nicely this closes, it's magnetic. And it's closed. So, I hope you find this useful and Again, if you want to see other videos of any note taker, just let me know and I can try and get those up for you. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in a future video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon.